You think you drink you drink Diet Coke? I drink flavored water, but I drink water too. Like I drink a lot of water as well throughout the day. Like when I'm when I'm drinking water, I'm just drinking straight water. It doesn't have to be something different. I had to get to the bottom of this. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I tried air up. <coughs> so you don't have to because this YouTube water bottle promotion might just be more of a YouTube scam. What? Oh my God, bro. This is gonna be bad. Uh, it's like dirt. This is a problem. I was scammed. It's kind of pleasant. What? <laughs> and we'll be getting into that <coughs> right after we buy one. Now you're probably thinking, what is the air up? And who are you? And why are you so handsome? Well, howdy hey, I'm Hippio and I try things so you don't have to. Now, as far as what the AirUp is, let me just have these creators explain it. AirUp is a hydration system that uses scent-based taste. Scent-based hydration system. Scent-based taste. It adds flavor to the water through the power of scent, and this thing is fire. Now, typically, I try keyboards and tech, but in this video, I'm gonna be wasting my money on an AirUp, all of the scent pods, to see why are your favorite YouTubers promoting it? Whoa, that is crazy. Wait, oh my God. Is it just for the money or is it genuinely a good product? I'm putting it to the test and I'm figuring out why every time I take a sip from this, I gag. Why did I do that bit? Why is that a good bit? That's not a good bit. Like, I really wanna see, is this magic scented water or is this just a scam that happened to get millions of dollars behind it? Because I don't know about you, I'm leaning towards the second one. I'm leaning way over there. I have scoliosis just like my water bottle. Now, in order to put air ups and these YouTubers claims to the test, let's head over to their website and see how much these water bottles cost as they're probably pretty cheap, right? Oh. $32 for the cheapest possible one. Okay, but let's customize my set. Maybe it's, wait, they also have a steel version. We're gonna need to try that out as well. Really guys? You're charging $5 more for a different color of plastic? What is this, GMK keycap? Oh, we're talking $8 for three flavor pods. But what gets even more egregious for the flavors that actually look yummy, we're talking third dollars for if you absolutely have to drink flavored water in order to get it down you have a problem yeah dude i feel like i feel like it's anti-human like i actually like i i feel like it's a, the most basic thing is just like water is a necessity for survival and i i just like it's not even anti-human it's anti-life form yeah it's like anti-living organism like every every living organism on the fucking planet needs like like it's just i don't get it like we need water to survive and it tastes good the thirstier you are i don't really understand it three so this is just a constant expense after three months you could buy a new hydro flask in total, we were out 148 US dollars for two water bottles and a couple pots. But that's fine if it's good, right? You think you drink uh, you drink Diet Coke, I drink flavored water, but I drink water too. Like I drink a lot of water as well throughout the day. Like when I'm when I'm drinking water, I'm just drinking straight water. It doesn't have to be something different. Let's come back in a week or two. And let's try it out. Oh, yeah. Now, in order to reach peak chaos, I have avoided drinking water all morning because you're never gonna guess what just arrived. It's, it's the air up, the air up arrived. Look, it's Nola, she's playing. Meow. Now at this point, all I was expecting was what all the ads I saw said. Helps me drink more water. I get through like two or three of these bottles. Tasty flavors. I'm literally slurping on this thing all day like a goddamn oh. guinea pig, okay? So I was very excited. At worst case, it's gonna be kind of like a scented candle type of thing where I end up with a headache at the end of this. Place your bets if that's foreshadowing or not. Also, Big Floppa is out in- My dad used to work with someone who only drank Diet Coke all day and she got a big cut on her hand and it couldn't heal because she was too dehydrated. What? Full force today. Nola, give us a flop. Woo! 
Flapper! Big flapper! Also, a lot of you get mad at me because you think I forced my cat to be in these videos. Who's doing the forcing here? Please comment down below. Who's forcing who? I don't get to choose this. I don't. I promise. Arab is probably trash, but it is ironic that this guy's been called out by the mech keyboard community for promoting trash keyboards for sponsors. Damn, dude. You don't want the smoke from the mech keyboard. The mechanical keyboard community's got the smoke for this guy, okay? <laughs> okay. Yes. She I see. I don't force her to be in my video. Start today because okay? she's very high maintenance. Look at this her. video is so far featured more. This video is so far featured more of the cat than the fucking actual water. Like we're three fifty one in, and there's nothing about the water so far. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Just average cat owner behavior. Bada bing, bada boom. Come on. No, that's fine. Okay. First, we have our flavor pods. And this is the most divisive part about this whole entire product because without these, it's just a water bottle. Now, I have literally no idea what's inside of these, so I'm going to be opening one up later in this video, so stick around for that. But with so many options, which one do you even get? I think I'm most excited for iced tea peach. Normally, orange scented things give me headaches, so. And Nola's excited for it too. That's so good, Nola. Great job. I don't actually see a world where watermelon is gonna taste good if it tastes at all. But now it was time to see if the actual bottle lived up to any of the hype. This is the basic air up, but... Now, I'm no water bottle expert, but neither were any of the YouTubers that took the air up sponsorships. However, I drink water, I have a water bottle, so I'm gonna be a little bit experienced here looking at this thing. The basic product overview guides that I promise you I'll totally read. Oh, this is it. There you go. It feels like a sturdier plastic than I'm expecting. Now you're probably wondering, Hippio, why are you putting so much focus on the experience of unboxing the water bottle and the water bottle's actual quality? Well, that's because they advertise this thing as something that you're gonna wanna use every single day. So it's going to have to pass every single test that you'd expect of a water bottle that you'd wanna use every single day. That means no leaks, very important, easy to attach to things, which this hook is actually great for, and it also needs to be durable and easy to clean, which I'm a little bit skeptical about with this massive straw. But I'm already not very impressed considering this thing looks like it has scoliosis and it also costs as much as a metal water bottle. He's just like me, for real. Moving on to the quality and how easy it's gonna be to clean, I mean, this straw is gonna be okay to clean with one of those straw cleaners, but this lid has that silicone finish on it that attaches- They have straw cleaners now? Like, that's how much, that's how much people drink with a straw that they got, like, is every bit of now, dust to they've it. This product is also designed in Germany and made in China, and, um, a lot of people will pay a lot of money for things that are made in Germany, be it a Leica camera or a Cherry MX Brown, but that doesn't inherently make it good. Now, I'll be looking at the quality of the water bottle a little bit more later, because there are some glaring flaws, but first, let's check out these flavor pods, because I'm very very curious. Now, in order to preserve their scent, they're pre-packaged in this little plastic wrapper, so you have to open up each one individually, and they come in packs of three. This is the iced peach tea. Oh my god, that literally looks like Febreze, dog. That's crazy. People are putting Febreze in their fucking water. Oh my god, it looks literally like it just, it's, it looks too much like a Febreze for me to not see it as just, like those little pods, those like little fucking, what is it called? Airwick pods? Is that what someone in the chat said that? Tea? Oh, it smells so fake. It's kind of like you just walked into a Bath and Body Works, but like somehow even more chemical. You get all the joy of flavor without them pesky calories. Or chemicals or- Water with no chemicals added or nothing. No chemicals. This is gonna be bad. I'm gonna get a headache. Now at this point, I'm not gonna lie. I started to get pretty scared for what was gonna face me once I actually try this thing. Now guys, here's your here's your keyboard fix. Look, there's a keyboard, Hippio Tech Video keyboard, 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 YouTube algorithm. Now I'm also no flavoring expert, but they mentioned that all of these are made with natural flavor. Although, dear God, those chemicals do not smell natural. Okay, now before- Does an air up sponsor for your end? What are you saying? Like what? Wait, they do? Why is March saying yes? We don't have any fucking sponsors on Fear End. Wait, 
the fuck? This is going to be clipped, and then I'm going to get fucking yelled at. God damn it. Before we get too crazy by trying the plastic one, the Air Up Silver. Now, this is like their more premium offering at a more premium price. So I'm expecting it to feel God, more premium. Oh, hey, it's actually heavy. But they're really putting a huge focus on the recycled material thing. Um, excuse me, how is this eco-friendly? Like, I don't care if you just don't want to be eco-friendly, but like, please don't make the claims that you're eco I can't wait for fucking... Someone's the unironically clip this, post it on Reddit, brigade it, post it on Twitter, brigade that, and then have people be like, yeah, actually, Arup did sponsor Fear End, but then we got them to cancel the sponsorship because we called them out. And then have like an entire fucking media cycle surrounding something that never fucking happened because we joked internally in this community. You know what I mean? Why bring attention to it? Because it's fucking fake. Yeah. Someone already clipped it and shipped it to XQC who's reacting to it and doing a 45 minute rant about how fucked up it is that Hassan is a fake socialist. Meanwhile, not a single part of the fucking, not a single part of this is true. It never happened, but it doesn't matter because like the truth never matters eco-friendly and then have this much plastic waste on a recurring basis be your product this is no better than keurig i can't really judge i run a channel based on keyboards and keycaps that are made out of plastic and anyway the bottle whoa she chonky hot dog this reminds me of like one of those soup thermoses, but like in the worst way possible. It's got a really nice like silicone band right here, similar to the other one. The lid is plastic. Yeah, it's been fucking eight minutes and not a single fucking drop of water has been drank thus far. The truth doesn't matter when the lie is more entertaining. See the God. I mean, we considering that we just went through one cycle of this, it's not that far-fetched for me to assume that this will happen again. And then people will be like, well, I hate you, so I don't really even care that you never even got that sponsorship. I'm just, I, and it says a lot more about you than me that I even believe that you got that sponsorship. I dropped it. Why does it feel so much cheaper than my really, really cheap water bottle? Shouldn't this be really premium? You ever go to like a fair and you get a free water bottle? and it's metal, and it stinks really bad after you use it like two times. That's what this feels like. So already, my expectations are pretty low. Now with the first impressions out of the way, I feel incredibly dehydrated, so it's time to actually get this thing working. Now the setup is wash your water bottle, easy, most of you could do that. Then fill it up with water, also easy, most of you can do that. But then pretty quickly, I started to run into a problem. Because as I was running some tests, that's gonna be a problem, I think. Does your what water bottle do fuck? that? Is that normal? Okay, maybe it's just the lid fit. Maybe I need to like... Won't that leak all over your bag? This is a problem. Okay, what about the blue one? Maybe the blue one is a lot better and won't leak. Let's find out. What? Is that intended? What if I put the lid on? Okay, let's say you just have it upside down for a while. We'll come back to this. Uh, I'm gonna set it right here. We're coming back to that. The actual build quality and quality of the bottle in general is really lackluster, which makes me wonder if you're making an absolute killing on these scent pods that people have to constantly buy, why would you skimp so hard on the build quality of your water bottles? I don't get it. Why? Maybe it's because... Oh, it needs air to activate the scents. That's for the air to get mixed with the scent molecules. Oh my God. It's not a leak. Like, so the bottle comes with that. They literally say sip, don't tip. Okay, well, that makes sense. I mean, it's like not a great design, but by design, it has to be that way. I guess like it's still bad. I feel like there has to be a way for air to get out without water being able to get out, right? No, I guess not. 
because these scent pods are just incredible and they're gonna give me insane flavors and they're gonna blow my mind. This is me trying Air Up for the first time. I was genuinely shocked that it worked. It felt like a magic trick. Keep in mind, I still haven't drank water yet today. Damn, bro, this guy has all the smoke for all the fucking jar. Hey, stay away from Jarvis. Can you tell how- And Curtis and Danny. Don't show the Try Guys again. Don't show Jarvis. How dry my lips are? POV, water. It's bad. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh, Hippo, you just put the lid on wrong. You need to do it correctly. But no, I tried literally everything. I looked at their guide. I think their quality control is just so bad that there's a gap in the back of their water bottle. Stay away We've from come them. back to this. You it, cannot protect them. I'm sorry. I'm still protecting them. It's been about five minutes. Is this lid full of water? So it didn't leak out. However, yes, this lid is of water who in their right mind wants their water bottle to do that this is not a water bottle that's already almost a death knell for this thing now a water bottle has one job and that's to hold water so when the water bottle doesn't hold water you've instantly failed the water bottle mission but even worse the lid doesn't sit straight leaking every okay, now that i understand oh where no. Oh, no that's a lot so with my water bottle that doesn't hold water it was time to see will it hold flavor now i asked you guys about the quality of your bottles some said they leaked some said it was fine some said the flavor was great and some said there was no flavor so i have no idea Okay, we've got both water bottles here, and I'm gonna be trying them for the very first time. Now, of course, I need to try it without any of the scent pods. Water. If I slurp it, it goes <laughs> All right, this one does the same thing. Both of them deliver water. Congratulations, you're a water bottle. This is not a water bottle. Now, I've got a million different scent pods here. The iced tea peach noted that this one smells absolutely terrible. Incredibly, incredibly fake. So let's start with this one. Now, they're very specific about how to use these things. So if you just put the scent pod on, then you're gonna get a bad result. Did I do that wrong? I don't taste anything. Let me go grab the manual. Maybe I did something wrong. Okay, okay, I might be stupid. And this is why you read the manual because apparently you have to like, oh, I popped it up. Now, theoretically, this is where I'm gonna get flavor. Hmm, maybe that's why they call it air up, Hippio. Up, up. Oh. At this point, the chemicals hit the back of my throat and- Oh no. Oh. I was overwhelmed by the flavor. <coughs> oh my God. This tastes like vomit. <coughs> oh my God. Not peaches, not iced tea. That's terrible. There's flavor. There Use your cat shit on it, dude. That's what happened. <laughs> you just left it there with your cat fucking around there is flavor it tastes of something but it's vomit this is genuinely one of the worst things i've ever tasted tasty flavors oh that's good now maybe i was just being too dramatic and i needed to try a different flavor raspberry lemon is probably gonna be pretty good <coughs> kind of smells of swedish fish that were in a bathroom that you just cleaned with uh lysol let's try the metal air up for this one lemon raspberry going in the flavor really catches you off guard here oh. There's something to it. The fruitiness is coming from a vomit flavor. There's an essence here that's happening. Okay, this is just an update like an hour later. All of my bourbon gamer, bro, he's hooked. Yo, you can't lie to me. You're hooked. You're hooked on it. Son, you're walking around the whole house with this bottle in your hand. You're hooked. He's hooked, bro. He's lying. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. All, uh, everything I've said is a joke, by the way, please. I don't, I don't believe that this is like a good product. So we have strong taste buds or something? Has anyone in here, has anyone in here used this before? Have you actually been sent one? No, dude. No, I don't have any fucking sponsors in general. No, we're poor, Hassan. I don't invest in gimmicks. Brother, you are literally on Twitch.tv and you have subscribed to me for three months, which is technically not gimmicky because you will no longer see the ads at the top of the hour. At least there is that with your subscription. You get that. That's pretty solid, I would say. Here's a three minute ad break. Now, I would also say... 
<laughs> I don't have this or have ever reset this or anything because like I don't understand the concept of flavored water uh, I, I just don't get it because it's like I, I don't understand it because like I, I don't feel like I don't feel the need to flavor my water when I'm drinking it. I like water as it is. You know what I mean? For me, it's like, I, I would just rather have regular water. It's not even flavored water. It's like scented water, which once again, I don't understand. All of my burps taste like chemicals. There's no way people actually use this, right? At this point, maybe I thought I was doing something wrong. I needed to read the manual again, but... I got one to try. I think he's overly critical about the bottle, but the flavor pods are pretty variable in quality. Some taste like cleaner, some are actually good. And it's literally a pod-to-pod -pod basis. It isn't even an issue with the flavor in general. I just came from Reddit. Apparently you're shilling for a water bottle company that helped pay your mansion. Yeah. There's no way that this can be bad, right? Orange vanilla swirl. <coughs> it literally smells like a car air freshener. Like, I'm not insane, right? I think I need to get a second opinion. Let me try this first, and then we're gonna get a second opinion, maybe a third opinion. Maybe everybody's gonna get herpes. Orange vanilla swirl. I just, let me try it in the other bottle. It's not pleasant whatsoever. Now, with my experience being overwhelmingly negative so far, I had to figure out what was inside those pods. So I took one and I pried it open with some tweezers. And I was expecting like, I don't know, something, but it was literally just a piece of cotton soaked in flavor. Well, quote unquote flavor. So then I thought like, maybe it's like a cilantro thing where some people hate it and some people don't. So I grabbed two of my friends. I didn't tell them what we were doing and I surprised them with trying this water bottle. So take a, take a sip of this water bottle real fast. Oh, I mean, there's like a little bit of something I feel like. <laughs> Is there intensity on this too? Like the Mr. Beast one that he was shilling? Like, maybe there's, like, a intensity one. I don't know. Apparently. <sighs> now that he's the same after a glass of room temp water after waking up at 4 a.m.? Yes. Is that supposed to be lemon? It doesn't taste um, like lemon. <laughs> Whoa, it just tastes like it. water, but you can smell it. And I don't know if it's good or bad. It's I mean, bad. It's not good. Oh, the Mr. Beast one is actual flavor that enters the water, not air. It kind of tastes plasticky. Yeah. yeah, that's a good way to put yeah. it. So that was cherry that you just tried. Whoever told you that is incorrect. I'm gonna get clapped, I get it, but this kid did a Patrick Bet David video about his MLM. No, I, I you keep Let me just sending off me this guy's video. Pyramid pushing Patrick, PBDX Eric Warre. Gaslight bet David. Oh no, they're coming after all my goats today. They're coming after all my goats today, bro. Not Patrick, but David. Fuck. Right, that wrong. was not Jerry. Okay, now here's a different one. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like dirt. <laughs> There's a comment under the video by an engineer explaining why it sucks. Ugh. It's like, it's oh like, god, that uh, is a chemical. It's like uh, de perfume dirt. <laughs> dirt de perfume. Wait, I need to figure out what <laughs> this is. Okay, I'm almost gagging. Gag. <laughs> so they weren't impressed with the flavors at all, and some of them grossed them out. But what would they think of the quality of the water bottles? Maybe it's gonna redeem everything. Like upside. Oh jeez. <laughs> okay. I mean, I think we established that like the water bottle without the cap is open. Right? Like, I, I, they, they don't even hide it. Like, I, the, the tip don't sip thing, um, the tip don't sip uh, part of it, it was addressed by the marketing materials, it even seems like. Um, so I feel, I, I, I still don't understand what they, like, I don't know why they didn't do that. Or, I mean, uh, the sip don't tip, sorry, not tip don't sip. Fuck. God. <laughs> That's literally not a water bottle. <laughs>
This is not a water bottle. I was scammed. That's how I would feel. <laughs> womp womp. Yeah, womp womp. Now their reaction was overwhelmingly negative, so I thought, okay, I'll get one last point of view to confirm everything, and then we're good, science is done, but then something changed. I had the scent pods sitting out in open air for a few days and then had another friend try them, which actually changed everything. Hi. Josie, I need you to take a sip from this water bottle. Interesting. Is it good? It's not bad. Wait, really? Huh? <laughs> yeah. What the hell? It's kind of pleasant. What? Damn, we find out, we find out at the end of this video that the entire homies have COVID. <laughs> Except for her. Like, the whole friend group got COVID, just not her. Or maybe it's like one of those like cilantro things for real, you know what I mean? Well, <laughs> if the, all the homies had COVID and she didn't, well, she has it now, but... I, I genuinely have fucking PTSD from all the hater cycle shit. I'm now thinking of different angles as to how, like, someone could clip this and frame it in a way where they're saying, like, Hassan spends 25 minutes reacting to a video to defend his friend's sponsorship. You really could fucking angle anything. You could, you could literally get me to look like I believe anything and everything because I speak for 10 hours every fucking day or eight hours. You're still thinking about that? Yeah, dude, it's like broken. My mind is so broken. It's really not that hard. That's why morons can do it. You're still kind of defending it though. Yeah, bro, why are you defending this shit so hard? See? Yeah, my mind is so broken, dude. That's why I have fucking 33 month subscribers in here being like, why are you defending this? I'm not. Do you understand? Why do I have such brain worms, I wonder? I'm Italian, I'm brain damaged. <laughs> I wonder where that comes from, Chatters. <laughs> where am I fucking... He was serious. Where where does that come from? I wonder. With fucking fans like these, who needs haters? You know what I mean? I mean, it's like really strong and it kind of smells like, like perfume, but it's not horrible. Wait, she actually kind of likes it? Okay, I need her to try different flavors because maybe this is a fluke. Maybe it's a fluke. No, it's kind of fun. I don't think I would want the smell in my face all day. I'm like really confused. Hold on, let me try it. <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> Wait, you genuinely think that's good? I don't think it's bad. Are you kidding? <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. <laughs> You're serious? Now, it definitely tasted less potent and less chemically today, so I wonder if maybe the scent gets better after it becomes less flavored, which kind of defeats the purpose. So then I opened up a brand new pod for Josie to try to see if maybe that's the conclusion here. All right, try that. Oh, that's bad. That's yeah? a lot. Yeah, I don't like that. Is that the same flavor? <laughs> That's the same flavor as the one you just said was good. No, that that one that one is a bad experience. It tastes like plastic. So this kind of confirms that the pods taste less terrible the longer that they sit out, but that kind of defeats the whole entire purpose, as it's a quickly dwindling line between them not tasting like vomit and them tasting like nothing. And so far, Josie said they taste pleasant, but not that she would actually use them, because to me... 
they're still terrible, but Josie kind of liked them, which I'm confused about. So maybe somebody out there could actually like these, but I don't know, they're terrible. I hate it. One last experiment though, and this is the one that everyone has hated. Okay, that one was kind of bad. So with my newfound knowledge, I just had to know why. What are they doing? It's all marketing. The fact that their margins are so genuinely insane that they can just pay creators like 10 grand to shill this garbage is criminal, frankly, but it's legal, so. Hippiotech headache report throughout the day, quite a bad headache. I think if you're the type of person that gets headaches from scented candles, stay very far away. But I saved the best for last. <gasps> that is the- People get headaches from scented candles? I'm sure there's hella people in the chat that's gonna say yes. I didn't even know that such a thing existed. <laughs> Someone said weaklings do. <laughs> <laughs> this dude's out there like, nah, dude, I smelled shit all the time, okay? He's like, I'll fucking go into a... I'll go into a fucking dumpster fire and I'll give it a whiff. <laughs> the most fake watermelon I've ever smelled in my life, okay? And you know, guys, I was really excited for this. I was like, all of my favorite YouTubers are promoting this. This has to work. And it has to be good, right? That's oh, okay. It's that's a, that's Cap. He he definitely didn't go into this thinking, oh oh boy, this is going to be a joyful experience. As a matter of fact, he said the exact opposite, even before he got the fucking thing. <laughs> I feel like he definitely, he definitely went into it <laughs> not with like a, man, I really love this. <laughs> Literally just a hit of chemicals right back at your throat immediately. It feels like it's punching your uvula. <clears throat> I feel like I just died. Guys, I expected something. I expected something to be positive here. So far, no. Air down, air down, down. I just can't imagine that anyone genuinely really likes this because it's a terrible water bottle experience. It's a terrible flavor experience at the leakage and the quality and everything else that's lacking. I suspect some people do though, right? Cause like, how the fuck are they selling anything after the first one? You know what I mean? Does it actually, is YouTube marketing that fucking powerful? That like dudes are just out there buying $30. Cause like in order for this to work, they also have to sell the pods like continuously. How else would they be able to generate revenue? It's probably subscription based and they count on people forgetting to cancel. I feel like they'd be more successful just selling pods that can go into any water bottle. That's actually not a bad idea either. People buy Raycons even though they're basically ear pods from Timu. What's good about it? What's good about it? I, it spilled water on me again. They made a terrible product. They got. YouTubers sold out the Skillshare. 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 Like Skillshare. Damn, bro. All the fucking YouTube.